I do hope that it would be possible following the Turkish elections of June 24th for a special envoy of the Secretary General to explore through consultations with all interested stakeholders and relevant parties if the necessary conditions that uh, will allow the resumption of the dialogue are in place. On our own behalf, despite my recent unfounded rumors, our aim and end goal remains one and only, to reach a viable and functional settlement fully in line with international and EU law that will reunite Cyprus in a modern, truly independent and sovereign state free of any third country dependencies and which will fully embody common prosperity and peaceful coexistence for all its citizens. Your Excellency, I avail myself of this opportunity to express my sincere appreciation for your country's principal stance on the Cyprus problem and your unwavering support on our efforts to reach a lasting and comprehensive solution. I would also like to personally thank you, Ambassador Doherty, for your sincere interest and express commitment to a fair and enduring settlement. In this respect, it is my strong belief that the United States of America, as a permanent member of the Security Council, has an essential role to assume when the negotiations resume, particularly in relation to the external dimensions of the Cyprus problem. Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends,